Stopping till we got to Grandma's. We're not in the mood. <sighs> Let's make this good. It's just me and my daughter. I will have the money for you in the morning. I swear to you on a stack of Bibles. Uh, no credit card. Credit card. What? I'm uh, I'm lucky to have the clothes on my bed. These aren't even my clothes. They're my neighbors. Oh God! I must look like. Hell. What? What exactly happened? <sighs> This crapped out guy next door was smoking and burned the place down. I can't and, believe. And but our grandmother says that she's coming here tomorrow morning with money and clothes. We already gave her. How the early is your grandmother going to be here? What? Very early. What crack of dawn, man? Mm -hmm. What time do you get up? Why? Because we want to cook you breakfast, man. <laughs> cook me breakfast? Why would you do that? Because you deserve it. Because you're a sensitive man, and not many people see that. But who does? We do. We do. I wish I had long hair like you. Huh. My hair used to be longer than this. It used to be down in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> when you were young and lived in Wyoming? Yeah, when I was young. Only well, still are young, Mom. That's what I'd like to hear. Yeah, Mom. Tell us about Shamir. Oh, Shamir. Shamir. It was the most beautiful horse in the world. Arabian. All white, huh? Oh, and he was pale. He was a ghost. You rode a bareback like an Indian. Oh, I was wild like an Indian. <laughs> I rode him all night long. My hair flying out. Shamir snorting and tossing his head. Just hoping for a god thing. Thunder in that prairie grass. <laughs> you forgot the wolves. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. Because the wolves, they was a howling. <laughs> in the wind, it was a. <gasps> but you wasn't scared. Oh, hell no. We didn't care. It was just him and me in a dead out run. Oh, me and my heels were born into his belly. I could feel every breath he took. God, I could feel his heart beating. 
We were galloping forever, never wanting to stop. And we didn't stop until we got all the way to Montana. <laughs> and Grandma Lou had a cow, right? She had so many cows, she could have had a cow farm. Woo! Wyoming. Oh, soon, baby. Soon. Oh, Shamir's still there. The dose is silly. Shamir's dead like your grandpa. Uh-oh, Shamir lives in the barn in Wyoming. We better get everybody to bed. Okay. One, four, three. One. I. Four. No. Three. Two. <laughs> Unexpected. Um, Trim on! Oh, my lord! Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. 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 Hey, hey, Mom. Mom. Well, we know. I hope you're not staying because I got my monthly Bible meeting happening. Uh -huh. Put that one back. Oh, and don't touch those. They're for the Bible ladies. Right, put it back. No, don't put it back. Uh, go ahead and eat it now that you've got it. No, don't put it back. No, nobody wants to touch food. Dirty little fingers have touched. Oh, <laughs> uh, ladies, this is my family. Uh, ladies, go right on with your meeting. When's the last time these children had something to eat? These kids have been through hell. But I have so learned my lesson. Oh, Rowena. Oh, I've heard that before. Uh, I mean it. All right. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to help you. God help me. But you can't stay here. No, no. It's I'll help you find a place, but that's it. You have cleaned me out, Rowena. Of course, you never take care of anything. Mom, Mom, look what we found by the canal. Mine is shadow and Rose's is snowball. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're so tiny and cute. Well, now that's all you need is two stray cats. So oh. now you know that they don't have germs. Oh. Oh, can we keep them? Of course you can keep them. <laughs> but they look a little hungry. Why don't you go get them some milk? Why don't you pick me up some hamburger and a can of tomatoes and some paprika? Gotta have paprika if you're gonna cook. Are you gonna make Rudy's Hungarian goulash? Well, I don't know, Rose. You want me to? Yes. yes. Well, then hell yeah, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Who's Rudy? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Rudy was a Hungarian friend of mine. <laughs> Only now he's in prison. <laughs> Which commandment did he break, stealing or murder? What's a commandment? What's a commandment? The Ten Commandments. That God, God gave Moses. Moses. Rose, don't you know anything? Rowena, I know you never take these children to church, but it'd be nice if you just got them back into school. Tomorrow! Damn, do I have to write it in blood! Tomorrow! Well, don't just stand there gawking. Go get the milk. 
And the stuff for the goulash? Forget the goulash. Yeah. Your mom's gonna be too busy cleaning up her dishes. Would you give him some money for frozen pizza? Go on. Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thy wild wilt, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. What's your name again? Gracie Thompson. Okay. Thompson. You ever heard of Romeo and Juliet? I know what a Romeo is. <laughs> Are you okay? Today sucked. So tell me about it. Rules. Hi, Gracie. Hi, guys. How's your day? How are you? Oh, hey, girl. What's happening, Gracie? Hey, honey. What do you think? I think that's my t-shirt and it's too small for you. Greasy, look at the neat scale mom got for us. Mom, I know what this is. The police are gonna be back. You think my boobs are too small for it? Oh, come on, you're not upset, are you? I mean, I paid for it, didn't I? Whatever. Oh, come on, don't go anywhere. I want you to meet somebody. Ray, I want you to come out and meet my little sister, Gracie. Mom, what? He knows I'm kidding. Anyway, people do think we look like sisters all the time. You didn't tell me Gracie was so cute. <laughs> yeah, she is, isn't she? How you doing? You are so cute. <laughs> oh, God, Gracie. <laughs> She's always been jealous of me. She should be. Yeah. Gracie, you would. I am now. What do you want? I'm sorry. Can I talk to you outside for a second? What? Well, come on. I'm not going by. Where's my mom? She's passed out in the bedroom. Come on, man. I just want to talk. Kids have had a hard time. I can see that. Your mom, she drinks too much. I just, I just want to be a friend. I'm going to be living here now. <laughs> Good luck. You're a smart girl. I could tell that right off. The whole bunch depends on you. I'm sorry. That scare you? Hey, little girl, I know. I know how hard it is for you. There's no one, no one to help you, love you. There's no one to touch you. Hey.
What happened to you? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Who hit you? I walked into a door. Yeah, right. Now, are you going to tell me what happened, or do I have to take you down to the office? What difference does it make? I've been hit since I was born. Where do you come from? All over. Where all over? All over. Campgrounds, trailer parks, motels. We even lived in a car. I've been to so many schools, I lost count after 41. Did you ever tell anybody about this? No. I'm going to have to report this. Why? Hey, hi, girls. Well, where are the boys? Look what we got, donuts. I got donuts who wants us. I do. Yeah. I'm starving. Can I have two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, we're going to get fat. No. <coughs> Mom, you're way skinny. I am? Mm -hmm. Am I too skinny? No. Let me see. Turn around. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Gracie, come on, I got jelly for you. You've been gone for three days. We had nothing but cereal, no money, no milk. I don't, uh, I don't deserve a life. I can't have a little fun. Your kid's on my tail all the time. Uh. <laughs> Ow! Shadow, you meanie, you bit my finger. Do you think Mom will really let us keep him? He won't be like Spike, huh? Remember that dog that my dad got us? Yeah. Remember how he used to kick it? Put your bags on the counter. I put all your stuff in paper bags. You get everything back when you check out. This is for your hair. Lice. We don't have lice. You don't know what you got. Scrub, or I'm going to do it for you. Hit the showers. 6 a.m. Breakfast is at 7. General cleanup at 8. You have to be washed, combed, beds made. You'll get your assignments for chores. Kitchen, laundry, restrooms, showers. Okay, you're in here. Not you. No, wait a no, second. No, we want to be together. I don't have any empty beds together. Just do it's it. It's not a big deal. We can sleep in the same bed. We do it all the time. I could don't give me a hard time. No, no, I want to stay with you. No, I just want to stay with you. What are you oh, doing? What are you doing? Don't take the 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 Don't take
sitting in that horrible little room, and they kept the lights on all night. Poor baby. So cold in her little padded cell. She's so special. She got the only single in the hall. I don't think I can handle this, Gracie. She doesn't think she can handle this, Gracie. It's all right, Rose. Great! What about the boys? I mean, do you think they're going through stuff like this? Poor little Robbie. She can't be. Poor little Robbie. Who's he? Another sister, probably. Better toughen up, little baby. Want your diaper change, stupid? I'm not stupid. Hey, Rose, don't. Hey, Rose. I heard your mother's in jail. I heard she's a hooker. Hey, look who's talking. <laughs> Nobody told me you were here. Nobody ever called me. And every time I called and called, all I got was recordings. Oh, my God, all kinds of just recordings. What about Robbie and Johnny and Ryan? All of you are going to stay with me for a while. <laughs> They're going to see how it works out. Let us try it for a while. And I think that's good. Get in the car where it's warm. Grandma, you're using a cane. Oh, pshaw. Grandma Lou, can we please go get our kitten? Yeah. Why? Why not? Shadow? Here, kitties! Shadow? Your mother's still in jail. So, what happens when she gets out? She is not allowed to live with you kids. She can't even see you, and that's the deal. Else, I don't get to keep you. I can't get the money to keep you. Grace, Grandma's got to have some money to feed you kids. I got to have the help. I can't keep cleaning up her messes, and my heart just won't take it. I hate my mother for doing this. Shadow! Rose! They're not here. I can't find them. We <laughs> got new ones. Not, what did you do to your hair? Oh, oh, that's grandma, just grandma, grandma. Grandma. hair gel. Maybe not hair gel, but jello for sure. Come on! I think I'm a big boy. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. These kids are driving me nuts. Every time I turn around, one of them's there. Yeah. Well, Robbie is fine as long as he can see you. This morning I went in the bathroom and he followed me in there. <laughs> we just have to keep telling them that we're at Grandma's now and that we're safe. Yeah, which means more commandments. Thou shalt go to school. I hate school. Gracie. Okay, okay. Don't take all the covers. And don't wet the bed. I won't. Just for tonight. Or I just be quiet. Well, I miss us, we gotta say a prayer. Shh, just whisper it. Now I lay down to sleep. You look like a bunch of little animals. I won't bite them. Boys do not sleep with girls. Is that one of those commandments? You bet it is. It's God's commandment. And you get out of this bed right now, you go back to your room, and you stay there. Do you hear me? Scoot!
look, lady, I gotta take my brother. My to name first is not Lady, it's Mrs. Thurston. And I'm a counselor at the school, and you will help me gather up this mess. I'm gonna need to talk to your parents. Good luck. If you find my father, I'd love to meet him. Look, don't give me no attitude. I just want some straight answers. Now, what about your mother? She's in jail. Well, who's the head of the household? It's supposed to be my grandmother. Who buys the food and prepares the meals? I do. You gotta do something about your schooling. I don't know how you made it through the 12th grade. I have no idea what they're talking about in class or in math. The and problem anything. is your IQ test say something completely different. You're just behind, but you cannot skate through this school like you did your other. I don't. It's just some days I have to leave and early. I don't want to hear about you ditching. It's not ditching. I have to get a job. I have to make money. Gracie, making money is not as important as going to school. Now, look, I can't help you at home, but I can make sure you do your best here. I am doing the best that I can. And I think you can do a lot better if you put your mind to it. Can I be excused? Or whatever I'm supposed to say, I have to pick up my brother. If you really have to go and pick up your little brother from school, go ahead. But listen, my friend, you better get your act together. So how'd you learn to run so fast? Huh. Running from truant officers, I guess. <laughs> Should be on the track team. Yeah. Coach asked me, but I don't have time for this. Yo, Tommy, out here! Up, it's only our first week here. <laughs> what are you doing here? My fault. I thought you deserved a day off. She has had plenty of days off since she met you. Hey, did you help Grandma with supper? What about the boys? Did they finish their homework? Um, Johnny was working on some stupid model. He was using toilet paper rolls to build columns or something. He's making a model of a Acropolis. Maybe you could have helped him with it. Miss, could I get a burger and a chocolate milkshake? If you can pay for it. Please, 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 please. Gracie, he forgot his wallet. Forgot my wallet. Fine, I'll pay for it this time. But don't come in here again without your wallet. Please, Rose, I gotta be able to depend on you. Okay. Thanks, Gracie. Could you put this in front of me? Hey! You all going home? Yeah. I'll give you a ride. No. It's not far. And I take the bus. Car broke down. Guess we're uh we're in the same direction, huh? And don't laugh. My mom's a psychiatrist. Who's laughing? Everybody. She's always asking me crazy stuff. I don't really want to tell my mom. So what about you? You haven't said anything about yourself. You're not giving me a chance. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm a motor mouth when I'm nervous. I make you nervous? Hell yeah. Okay, it's your turn. My mouth is sealed. You asked for it. This is my house, and I live here with my three half-brothers and half-sister. We're all bastards. We have different last names because we have different fathers. I haven't seen mine since I was two. Our mother's a drug addict, and she's in jail right now. We live here with my grandmother as wards of the court. All my brothers have ADD. Johnny has ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. And Robbie, the youngest, who's a little slower, has trouble being alone. Okay? 
Is that enough? No. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm not. No, I mean, I, I like you. I just want to know you. Grace! <laughs> What's the matter? I told you, I don't have time for this. I run a zoo. I... Uh, how about I give you a ride tomorrow? I told you I take the bus. That's okay. So tomorrow, we'll both take the bus. You are knocked up and I am the last person that you tell? I knew what you'd say. Rose, this is so stupid. How are you going to raise a kid? See? I knew it. You can't quit school. Mom quit school and look what happened to her. I hate school. So what? You're going to live with Ricky and his roommate and then what? Clean houses for other people? Rose, stay here. We can raise the baby together. Oh, Lord. Another one won't make a difference. Rose, Ricky said to hurry it up. Bye, you guys. Rosie, you Rose, make sure wait. that boy marries you. Never been separated. Hurry it up, babe. I am saying goodbye to my sister, Ricky, so just can it. Look, I know what you're thinking. That I'm gonna end up like mom. Gracie, I love him. I can't do this without you. It had to happen someday. I'm not like you. You can do anything. Just take care of yourself, huh? I'll call you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Could you, uh, help me with my computer? I'm having some problems. Go and, uh... away. <laughs> so how's it going? This is right up my alley. The Black Plague is caused by bacteria that lived on fleas that lived on rats. I know about rats. Look, I'm having some problems with my computer. Why don't you come over there and just, you know... Um, if you don't, um, then... <laughs> Something's wrong. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, um, hmm. do you have to clear some space? Mm -hmm. Just press escape. What if I don't want to escape? <clears throat> Gracie, that report is due tomorrow? I'm almost finished, Mrs. Thurston. Yes, you are. Jeez. <laughs> She's not that bad. I mean, she's on my case a lot, but it's actually kind of nice. You know, she cares. I care, too. Look, why don't you invite me to dinner? Me, Grandma Lou, and the kids. It'd be fun. I won't bite. Okay. <laughs> Robbie, we have to bless the food first. What do we say? A prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray that I'm going to sleep to eat if I should go to bed. I think your grandma needs to have God bless the food. I don't know that one. Yes, you do. Good food, good meat, good God, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Trip? Where you went since I've been gone? I would hardly call that a trip. Hi, Mama. These kids have been good to you? Yes, Rowena, they oh, have. Oh, oh, that's good, that's good. Hello, everybody. This is Franco, Franco, the everybody. Hi. How do you do? And who is this? You sure don't look like one of mine. <laughs> this is my friend, Tommy. V, it looks like Gracie got lucky, huh? Mom, would you mind if I talked to you in the hallway? Not at all, baby. What's eating? Lettuce. <laughs> Franco, make yourself at home. Okay. I'll be back. Be back. Would you care to join us? I didn't know you had a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Well, whatever he is, he sure is hot. 
You can't stay here. What gives you the right to tell me what I can and can't because do? Because I don't want another trip to a youth facility. I don't. And that's exactly what's going to happen if you and your friend don't get out of here. I just got out of jail, Gracie. You don't want to give me a welcome home. You don't want to give your mama a hug. Thank you. I miss you. We're doing really good right now. Please don't mess us up. I am not gonna mess this up. I am not gonna mess this up. Taking Gracie to meet my folks. Oh, yeah, and we weren't invited. <laughs> well, I, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. You could use a little makeup if you ask your mama. You look great. Thanks. Okay, well, good night. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Try doing something I might do. Bye, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how many people live here? It's not that big. Yes, it is. Tommy, oh my God, my entire house could fit in your garage. Do you think you can make up? Look, will you knock it off? Tommy, they're not gonna like me. Listen, I like you. They're gonna love you. Come on. Mom, Dad. So, Tommy tells me you have three brothers? And a sister. Older, younger? Younger. How much younger? Um, she was a sophomore. What is the same position? I'm just interested, Stan, so just leave us alone. Her name is Rose, and she's getting married and expecting a baby. Oh. Goodness. I hope that's not giving you too many ideas. Well, Ma, I thought you wanted a grandbaby. I do, but not yet. <laughs> Um, where's the powder room? A bathroom. Uh, it's uh, through the door and to the left. Tommy, show Gracie. Yeah. No, it's okay. I got it. Gracie, how do you like your burgers? Cooked. Son, he has to yeah. visit some colleges and make some decisions. Mm -hmm. What colleges are you looking into? Ma, you want me to check this? Mm -hmm. I hadn't really thought about it. Well, you better. There's lots of competition. Oh, are you, are you still hungry? If no one's going to eat them, would you mind if I took them home to my brother's? My grandma has a microwave. Of course sandwich. not. Of course not. No, yeah, we have sure. some bugs. We got some cookies. Get some containers. Get some bags. Rowan, I have asked you not to smoke in my house. Oh, okay. That Franco fella is upstairs 
asleep on my bed. And little Robbie told me that he saw you in there with him doing exercises with him. And I know what the exercises were in front of your own children. So what am I supposed to do? There was no lock on the door. Well, I'm sorry, though. I mean, that, that, oh, God. I don't want the kids to see me like that either, Mom. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I don't have much. She's all I've got. Rowena, the children are so upset. They promise, they promise not to tell anybody that you're here, but they're just little children. And Robbie, he doesn't understand. Oh, God, your daddy hit the switch just about kill him. Oh, God. Listen, Rowena, that check is going to come tomorrow. And why don't you and your man take the check? And why don't you just leave? Because you know what? It would really be best for everybody. I bring nothing but misery. I didn't say that, Rowena. No, you did. I Just mean, don't you might as well know. Let me get Frank on. I'll get out of here. No, no Rowena, wait. God. Honey, please come to Mama. Please. What? Come. Listen to me. What? Honey, if you just get back into the church. Uh, why don't you admit that I should have never been born? Oh, God. No, say that, Rowena. You're my baby. Oh, God. I will not turn you out. Oh, my God. I love you so much. I love you, too, Mama. Oh, baby. I love you. God, I love you. We know your mother's living at your grandmother's. I just have to ask you one question. Are there any relatives that would take you and your siblings? Well, we're going to have to find foster homes. Able no, to take care you're not of separating us. We've already been through foster that. Foster homes. It's not juvenile hall. They're good people. They we screen them. They take the kids for the money. I'm not stupid. Look, I'll get my mother out of the house. It won't work. Your grandma's always going to take her back. She says she won't, but she does. I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll get an apartment away from my grandmother's, and I'll save up my money. That money is for junior college. I can always make more. Gracie, you're 17 years old. You have to be a legal adult to be a foster parent. You'd have to be emancipated. I can do that? Yeah. But even then, a judge would have to go for it. And that's just too much on your shoulders. It has always been on my shoulders. Look, this is a solution. You can't separate us. I'll be their mother. You are not their mother. Oh, Rick. Oh. What, are you doing this so you can get the caregiver money? You are doing this to get the caregiver money. This is all a setup. She gets the caregiver money and she gives it to you. But because it belongs to me, you bitch. No, no, no. Don't no, no, crush your daughter like that. Leave her yes, alone. Stop it. Hey. hey. You are not taking my kids. Your kids? Why don't you just admit that you had us for the welfare money? Too bad you had so many miscarriages because there would have been more. You'll go to hell. I was born in hell. We are never going to give them to you. Not to you. Just leave. Before I call the cops. I don't think you know what you're doing. You understand that these children must stay in school? Yes, sir. You're employed part-time. You have a work permit? Yes, sir. Through the school. This has been a very trying day. I've had half a dozen children had to be placed. 
Well, your school records have certainly improved. Mrs. Thurston. Yes, Your Honor. You're a counselor at Gracie School. What's your assessment here? Gracie is doing extremely well, and I'm also encouraging her to apply for college. Mm. Your Honor, all of the children are making an effort. Uh, Ryan and Robbie are in special day classes, and Johnny's pulling in A's. Now, what happens to these children when Gracie's at work? My grandmother can come to my apartment after school, or I can put them in the foster family daycare. I know it's not perfect, Your Honor, but it's very important to me and to my brothers that we stay together. Where is the mother? Uh, Rowena Larson? I talked to her yesterday, Your Honor. She said she would be here. Huh. Well, how did these children get here today? Easy, we took the bus. You don't have a car? Oh, uh, we're getting one. <sighs> Look, I, I, I don't understand this money problem with your grandmother. She's getting $520 a month for each child. The thing is, Your Honor, my grandmother gives the money to my mother. We don't ever see it. Gracie buys us our shoes and stuff, sir. I mean, Your Honor. Look, the money would have to go directly to you. That's going to make Grandma really mad. Because, see, my mother will raise hell about it. I mean, heck. Well, you don't have to worry about her. Just worry about these kids. You got a check-in account? I can get one. How are you going to get an apartment? I already found one. It just has to be approved. Oh, well, all right. You got telephone, electricity. Each of these children got to have their own bed, dresser. Yes, Your Honor, I have the list. This is ridiculous. I'm going to give you a week to get it all in order. I can do it, Judge Donner. Well, if you can do all that, maybe we should give you a job around here. Okay. This is just temporary, but we're going to give it a three-month trial. But I'm going to be watching you. I want reports from the doctor, the dentist, and copies of report cards. This is highly unusual, but I'm giving you a chance to keep your family together. And I hope it doesn't come back to haunt me. Thank you, Judge Donner. Thank you. Next case. Tough neighborhood. I don't know. It's better than most places we've lived, and we can stay in the same schools. Oh, well, uh, you're gonna have to clean it up. I have plenty of experience scrubbing out bathtubs and covers. Uh-huh. Well, I'll put some pictures up. Family stuff. Make it cozy and warm. I'll be back in a week. Does that mean you approve it? Done. <sighs> so you took all this on without telling me? I was afraid you'd think I was nuts. You no, know, my parents think you're nuts. I, on the other hand, think you're pretty incredible. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Before I know it, I'm picking out beds. What do you think of this one? It's way too soft. You know what? We got a twin bed in the garage. Okay, how much money you got? Well, I've saved a few thousand, and then with the foster care money, I think... Wait a minute. You've been saving your money in a sock? Yeah, underneath the mattress. Why didn't you just put it in the bank, you know? Earn some interest. What's that? The bank pays you a percentage for the use of your money. Free money? Mm-hmm. That is a great, great <laughs> idea. <laughs> she did what she had to do. She didn't look back, just straight ahead, with no goodbyes and a few regrets. She's gonna make it through. For me, right there on that line. You know what I'm saying. Things in a million ways, but it all comes down to the same cliches. You can run. 
Corner and be sure to thank Mrs. Turner when we give it back to her. Oh, uh, we don't have any pictures. What pictures do we put in the frames? Um, keep the ones that are in there. Isn't Mr. Bessie supposed to be here? I'm late for my open house. Don't worry, he will be here. Now can we go out and play? No, you cannot. I don't want you guys getting all dirty again. Mr. Bessie is never late, so something must have come up. Okay, that's him. Hey, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, everybody ready? Clean hands. Elbows? Okay, good. This is such bull. We're gonna miss the whole thing. Calm down, Ryan. Ugh. I'm Sandy Jacobs. I'm your social worker. Hi. Um, you know what? There might be a mistake. Uh, Bob Bessie, Mr. Bessie, he's actually our social worker. Your file's on my desk now. That's the way it works. Okay. <sighs> You're late. Sorry, traffic. Yeah, right. We have a telephone now. You could have called. I'm sorry. They're just a little upset because they had an open house at their school tonight. Yeah, it started an hour ago. Yes, well, this takes precedence over an open house at school. Oh, hmm. it's very homey. You have gas, electricity. Look at our kid Lobo. It means wolf because he bites. We got our teeth cleaned. Me too. Yes, I have the reports. Who are these people? Uh, Aunt Beth Ann and Uncle Mike. Oh. And where do they live? Portland. They do. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Okay, uh, I noticed in the report that your Grandma Lou checks you regularly. We have a stable support line. Very stable. And uh, I noticed that Brian has communication problems. Do you mean Ryan? Oh, it's Ryan, sorry. So many families, so many children. I really don't want to upset him, so I would, I would rather discuss this in private. I just think you should consider canceling for him. That, that's a great idea. I will do that. Okay, well, I have to make my report to the judge. All in all, I would say, good job. I'm going to grant you a three months extension. Good work, boys. Grace, I have got to hand it to you. You have a lot of patience. And you're a better mother than I ever was. Grandma, we never could have done all this without you. Who drank all the milk? Guys, if you drink up all the milk, we don't have anything left for the rest of the week. Why couldn't we get cereal? Because it's too expensive. Ryan will eat the whole box. Besides, it's got too much sugar and you guys are hyper enough as Gracie, it is. who are those guys? Mind your own business, Robbie. Just get in the car. He can't give us any description of the shooters. He didn't notice the make, the color of either vehicle. I was covering up my brother. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Where exactly were you? Where were you? Don't talk to my sister like that. She pays taxes. Ryan, show some respect. It appears you're caught in the crossfire. Two rival They shot our car! Through the door, the rearview mirror, the windshield. They blew a tire off. My sister gave all my Ryan, life. get a grip. Go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. Now! Please excuse my brother. He thinks he's my husband. Oh, this is all so terrible. Just terrible. You and Robbie could have been killed. Grandma! Robbie, honey, go upstairs and get ready for bed. Take Lobo. Johnny's gonna read you one of the stories we bought. Good night, Mr. Policeman. You are not helping this. I know, I know. I shouldn't have said that in front of him, but I just couldn't help myself. I know, Grandma. This kind of thing has always happened to your mother. Gracie! I came as soon as I could. You okay? What's wrong? I think I'm gonna puke. 
<laughs> okay, you guys say your prayers? All right, good night, fellas. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Good night. Good night, Tommy. Hey. I can't believe you threw up on that cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a real projectile, too. It was a freak accident. It could have happened to anybody. Oh, it just brings up so much old stuff. You know, with my mommy. Oh, it's like nothing has changed. You're not in that life anymore. It's time we made plans. Plans? Tommy, I can't even plan on lunch next week. I'm going to court every time I turn around. I'm going from social worker to social worker to social worker. I have to do the laundry and the groceries by myself. I have to put shoes on their feet. The I kids have to... are getting older. Your grandmother can take over soon. You're not hearing me. You're hearing you, baby. Yes, I am. Next year, we're going to get our own place. I'm going to go to Braxton. You're going to go with me. College, Tommy. I can't afford college. On a scholarship. Gracie. You're getting A's and B's. Baby, I love you. We're gonna get through this together. Think about you for a change. Hmm? Forget about it. Think about it. Right now, I'm thinking about something else. Now. It's very ivory tower. You like? I like. For you. Tommy, what makes you think they're gonna give me a scholarship? This. I went on the internet. By yourself? <laughs> oh, very funny. Look, foster family scholarship application. All you have to do is apply it to lock. Yeah, right. Do you know what a college degree means? More money. No, more us. You know? Have our own kids, start a family. Instant family, just add Tommy. You want? Yes. Tell me I want very much. Mm, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never once seen you take a break. I'm applying for a scholarship. So wish me luck. College? I thought you were saving for a wedding dress. That'll come later. And I'm renting a wedding dress. I'm not going to buy anything that I'm only going to wear once. Hello? Gracie, it's for you. Without your shoes. <laughs> like when you ride your horse. I told you a million times. No, Grandma, it's crazy. I've got my shoes on. I knew you'd come, Rowena. Because you know how much I love you. You know, I spoiled you. I spoiled you when you were a little girl, but I was too strict. And all the wrong. When we hear the words of your commandments, that you giveth and you taketh away, so often we look only at the part that's half empty, that taketh away. Yet even as we are filled with sadness for the loss of our beloved Luella, we are also here to celebrate what she gave us, Luella Larson. 
proud mother to a fine and wonderful daughter, Rowena. Loving grandmother. Is mom so supposed many to be here? here today. She but told Rowena so she was coming. Here at the church, just plain Lou. Although Lou was anything but plain. We ask you, dear Lord, to take her. For the last few weeks, I'm starving. All I want is chocolate all the time. Oh my god, you guys. We couldn't find the church. <laughs> Tommy, you're still around, yeah. dude. That's rocking. <laughs> well, look at you. My girls, my little girls. My baby girls. Hi, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Get out! <sighs> oh, my golly. Rolling, can you believe it? I'm gonna be a grandma. Wow. <laughs> oh. Poor Grandma Lou, huh? You guys, listen, I want you to know something, okay? If you want anything of your grandma's, you know, a little, a little trinket or a keepsake or something, you let me know, okay? She didn't have much. She only had $7,000, which she gave me, of course. You know, in the house and, and furniture and stuff. Listen, where are my boys? Um, they're outside. There, he wants to talk to you. Okay, um, will you cover for me? Thanks. What can I do for you? Well, what you can do is get your ass over here and give me a hug. Who are you? Gracie, I'm your daddy. What's the matter? You don't believe me? I don't know. I, I can't. Listen, um. Have you got a little place where we can go talk for just a just just a minute? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you, you're the manager. I mean, that that's fabulous. You know, you look real pretty, like your mom. And uh, what can I say? You turned out great, Gracie. It's no thanks to you. There's no smoking in here. Come on, don't be mad. You know, I just, I couldn't see it because of the restraining order. They, they'd have put me in jail. Because you beat me. No, 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 your mom beat you. Is that true? Sweetie, I've just been thinking about you all these years and, and, and waiting until you was 18 so that I could see you. You ever heard of a phone call? Just, Gracie, you know, I kind of had some problems of my own for a while.
But, you know, the thing is, now your mom is, she's trying to stick me with this back child support thing. She's claiming that Rosie and, and, and the boys are my kids. Well, you know they're not, right? So what I need, I just need you to sign this thing that says that I was long gone by the time this that... This is why you came to see me? Well, I mean, she can't get away with it because, because they're not my kids. No, they're mine. Smell the roses. Congratulations! Thank you. You have to stay in bed. Breakfast in bed, like on TV. Uh, oh my goodness. One, four, three. Come here. One, four, three, Gracie. This looks delicious. Thank you. Jared Tarleton. Gracie Thompson. Your parents must be very proud. Exactly. Tracy! Oh, hey! There you are. Hold it, hold it, guys. I'm gonna get this. Cheese! Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I told you you could do it. There's punch in the corner. Gracie, Tommy. There you are. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Let's get a picture. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Mrs. Thurston, I'm sorry I was such a pain in the ass. I hated your guts. Don't worry about it. I hated yours, too. Oh, I got a new job this summer doing books for an escrow company. And is this coming from the girl who once told me she couldn't do math? It doesn't take brains. I'm just loading numbers into a computer, that's all. Whatever it is, you're starting a new life. And with the new scholarship, now that is the best news. Proud of that. I can't believe it. Boys, do you want to say hello to Mrs. Thurston? Say hello. Mr. Hi, Mrs. Thurston. So when were you going to tell me? I don't know. I just got all messed up. You found out you got a scholarship. And you just threw it away? How am I going to go to college and leave the boys? A few years, and they're going to be Robbie's seven years old. It's a long time, Gracie. Look, I just gotta know. Do you love me or not? Tommy, you know that I do. Say it, Gracie. But I can't turn my back on the boys. Even if I wanted to, I can't. Let somebody adopt them. Gracie. It's a good opportunity for If anybody's kids. going to adopt him, it's going to be me. Do you know what you, what you just said? So you're serious? You're going to try and adopt them yourself? Who I don't you? know what I'm going to do. Look, the boys adore you. And I know that you love them. I love you, damn it. I want to be with you. I want to marry you. I want us to have our own kids, not with them. Tommy, don't say that. You gotta make a choice. Look, I'm sorry, Gracie. I'm only 19. I got my whole life ahead of me. I can't. Gracie, your family is ruining your life. I don't even see it. You expect me to take this case pro bono? I don't expect anything. I'm just, I'm hoping. How do you know your mother will sign a release? I don't. 
The only way she'd sign it is if she was high on pot. Oh, they'll assign her a lawyer. You only get one shot in court, you know. You'd have to luck out with an understanding, flexible judge. We had one before. And what about the fathers? I don't know who half of them are. Neither does my mother. Or you have to get a hold of relatives. You have to check out last known addresses. Mm -hmm. You have to put ads in newspapers. Mm -hmm. You've got to locate these people so that parental rights can be terminated. I, I, and salary costs can add up. I know. I'm prepared. I went through all of this stuff with an adoption worker. There's little or no precedent for any of this. A person as young as you are. Are you going to help me or not? Ryan, don't wrinkle it. I just ironed it. It's an expensive shirt. Belonged to my boss. Robbie, honey, come on. We gotta get going. We can't be late. You got a big stain. Well, tuck it in and it won't show. Why can't we ever get anything new? Why don't you start mowing more lawns? Are you scrubbed good behind your I'm ears? I'm My hair okay? What is that smell? I used some of Tommy's cologne we left in the bathroom. Well, you used too much. Is Mom gonna be there? Oh. Come on. All right. Wait, you sit over here. You're in charge. Do not talk to anyone, okay? Excuse me while I go barf my guts out. Do you mind if I had two of those? Aspirin? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I come here this morning thinking I was doing some good and and they took my children away from me. What kind of people take babies away from their mothers? I don't um, sorry. I mean, um, hope, I hope it works out for you. <laughs> it's a great idea. Gracie's gonna love it. <laughs> hi, Gracie. Look who's here, Gracie. Oh, hi there, Gracie. Hey, what do you think? He said I should look respectable. She looks pretty, doesn't she, Gracie? Well, I don't know. I do feel a little like my mother. Maybe I should add a little more lipstick. You're beautiful, Mom. You look... You look fine. Mom almost stays to Wyoming. Well... We could all go. Gracie, you too, you're invited. We could start over. We can take a little boat. She's gonna sell Grandma Lou's house and buy one in Wyoming. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have a ranch house with um, cottonwood trees and a pond and a pasture. We're gonna have a huge garden. Right, because we'll grow all of our own food, right? Oh, and she says we're gonna have horses, Arabian horses like Shamir. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I know I wasn't a good mother, but like I told the boys, I loved you. I love all of my children. I'm gonna make up for it now. Please don't do this. I want my kids. I want to give them a good life. I've always wanted that. Are you that. prepared I've... to get a job? You're not going to raise these children on welfare. Well, I'm uh, taking it one step at a time. Thank you. Thank you. Will any of the fathers of the children be present here today? Oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, they owe me way too much child support. I never had a penny, never had any help at all. But I will tell you that these kids were conceived in love. I understand, Miss Larson, but according to the petition signed by your eldest daughter... Oh, yes, I read that. Uh, Gracie is a good kid. But that's all she is, as a kid. If you don't see me fit, to be the mother of the children. I want them to go to families that will help them. Well, no one has helped them more than I have. Miss Thompson, please. I've gone over dozens of reports from social workers. And all of those social workers will tell you that I've always been the one that's been responsible for feeding them and clothing them. I get them to school. It has always been me. If you think she's better than me, you should know that she has sex with a boy in the house. And that is not the way it yes, went. Yes, it is. He loved it them. It is the way it went. And I loved him.
We'll counsel on both sides. Please, try to get a grip on your clients. Miss Larson? I'd like to call the children to the courtroom. Let's. Boys, the judge wants to see you. Come on. Come on, Robbie. Ryan Walker. Johnny Blicker. And Robbie Locasio. You've been sworn in, and I've explained to you what that means. Now, I'm going to ask each of you a very hard question. Ryan, you're the eldest, so I'm going to ask you first. Who do you want to live with? I love you, Mom. I will always love you. I'm sorry, but I would rather live with Gracie. <laughs> what? Why? The... Why? He's been brainwashed. Johnny. Wait, wait, wait. Johnny, what about you? Johnny, Your Honor. John, 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 John. Now look at me. Miss Larson. Look at your mother. Miss Larson. <laughs> Clearly, she has. She is. She is. Uh, poison them or brainwash them, brainwash them to Larson. be scared of me. Counsel, I've warned you. I told them that I am bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm just looking for another chance. One more chance, please, to be their mother. Boys, come to me. Johnny. Come to me, mommy. Boys. Boys. I know this is going to be very difficult, but try to ignore what your mother has just said to you. Just try and stay with your feelings. Johnny, who do you want to live with? Your Honor, we've been with Gracie all our lives. She feeds us and reads to us and helps us with our lessons. She fixes us up when we're hurt and when we're scared. That's what a mother does, right? She changed our diapers when we were babies. Mom, you know that's true. Robbie? Robbie, what do you say about this? Robbie, pay attention. Who do you want to live with? I like to live in Wyoming and ride a horse. Yeah. Wyoming? Yeah, it would be fun. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to sleep in my own bed. And go home with Gracie. <laughs> I can take care of <clears throat> I've been with this case for some time now. It seems the children have finally found some stability. I don't want to disrupt that. Miss Larson. I know you feel pain and remorse, but it's all coming too late. Parental rights are terminated. find you. No matter where you go, I will find you. Thompson, I hope you know what you're doing today. This is a huge thing you're taking on. There's no turning back. These will be your children now. 
I understand. They've always been my children. They've never been anyone else's. How can we blow this joint? <laughs> he means, are we done? Almost. Diesel, like Big Diesel. That's stupid. Pyre, like Harry. Guys, we gotta get serious. The judge only gave us five minutes to come up with a last name. Lobo, that's the cat's name. Savage. Johnny Savage. No, how about Weatherly? Because we've been through bad weather. Weatherly. Johnny Weatherly. Me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Weatherly. Ladies and gentlemen of the courtroom, for the record, I'm happy to present the weather. Yes. Yes. Gracie Weatherly, Ryan Weatherly, Johnny Weatherly. Yes. And Robbie Weatherly. This is a miracle. It's a first. I want to see you guys when you graduate. It's heroic what you're doing. I wondered when I was reading the case if I'd make a mistake by granting this. But I know in my heart I've made the right decision. <laughs> I just hope you can handle it. I will. I can do it. It's going to...